guys, welcome back to a new video. In my last monthly pickup video, I promised you guys a Black Friday haul. And well, I'm here to deliver. Um, I actually stayed in my house during Black Friday. I did go out the day after Black Friday to pick up a game that I had ordered. But for the most part, everything was shipped to my house. And finally, after weeks, all of the things have come in. So figured I'd switch things up a bit. Instead of just sharing with you guys what I got, you know, just showing it to you, I figured we'd do a little mystery unboxing to spice things up a bit. Of course, it's not a mystery to me as to what's inside of these packages because, duh, I ordered them. But I figured I'd open up the packages, you know, look at the game and try to give you guys some hints to see if you can guess what game it is that I have. So let's get to it. First game I'm going to share with you guys I don't even have to open. I actually ordered uh, this game off of Best Buy on Black Friday since it was on sale and then I went ahead and I did the the in-store pickup option. So I went and picked the game up the day after Black Friday. All right so let's see if you guys can guess this game. It's a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Um, if you've been watching my videos over the past couple of years you guys should know that this is one of my favorite video game characters. Um, I just think he's so dreamy. I'm sure all the chicks swoon over him. The company that made this game, or shall I say series of games, have basically had successful series on all of the Sony consoles. We're talking PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and the original PlayStation. I'll give you guys a second to think about this one. I don't know, maybe some of you guys guessed it, but it's Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. I picked this up. This is funny. This is a funny little story behind this. Now, this came out, and I think I waited a week after a release and I had like a $10 Best Buy reward zone certificate um, that I put towards this purchase um, for in-store pickup and um, so you know the price was cheaper and then I totally forgot that I had this you know what I'm saying this game waiting at the store even though I got an email I was really busy that week um, and then I, I was looking through my emails and I saw that the game went back and of course they refunded me my money so I was like that sucks but I can wait on it. Black Fi Friday came around and I got it for significantly cheaper um, and I've had a chance to play it. I haven't actually dug into any of the games although I've played all three of them on the PlayStation 3 and absolutely love them. Um, I've only played them once and I definitely don't mind going back and replaying them. Did get a chance to play the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta and my god I can't wait for that game to come out and that means a lot. That really does mean a lot. That says a lot because I'm not into multiplayer games like honestly although I would love to be I just feel like I always suck at them and I lose interest but the multiplayer beta was fantastic I played I played it basically the whole time that it was available so I'm really looking forward to playing Uncharted 4 and going back and trying out these games again I mean they're some of my favorite games of all time so this next game I actually ordered days before Thanksgiving because for some reason Best Buy had their um, sales prices up early so I was able to order this and they shipped it out to me before Thanksgiving so I had a chance to play it over my Thanksgiving break. Alright so some hints about this game so you guys can guess. Um, last generation PlayStation 3, Wii, Xbox 360. This genre was big. I mean it was huge. Everyone loved these games because because you know they basically made you feel like you were something that you always wanted to be. Um, that might not be the best hint. Um, yeah towards the end of last generation uh, people it seemed like people kind of forgot about these games they stopped putting this genre of game of games out um, and people got rid of their peripherals uh, but now it seems like people are getting their peripherals back because this genre is coming back I'll give you guys a second to think about that one I mean <laughs> those hints might be a little vague but you might have guessed by now Guitar Hero Live and it's crazy because this game was actually shipped to me like this which is weird I mean there was no box or anything the the shipping label and, and the receipt and everything is on there Guitar Hero Live is a blast um Best Buy had it on sale for I think it was like 64 bucks or something like that and then on top of that 20% discount 
awesome price that's exactly what I wanted to pay for the game because originally it's like a hundred bucks um which I guess you know I guess that's a good price but I just I don't love the genre that much to throw that much money down onto it but I've played a lot of Guitar Hero Live and I really like it the reason why I went with Guitar Hero Live as opposed to uh, Rock Band 4 is it Rock Band 4 yeah Rock Band 4 um was because it just seemed like Guitar Hero was doing something a little different um, compared to Rock Band. Rock Band's great and everything, um, but this new one just seems like it's the same old, same old. And Guitar Hero Live kind of switched things up with the guitar and the way that the notes are placed. Um, it took me a while to actually figure out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, how to be successful in some of these songs. Um, and still, even then, I mean, some of them I can't even get through on hard. Uh, but I really like the game. I love um, the Guitar Hero TV. Awesome, where you can play songs. Uh, basically to the music videos the original music videos I think that's fantastic and the set list is great um, the standard set list is awesome and when you add uh, Guitar Hero TV on top of that I mean it's an awesome set list so yeah I'm happy that I got the game for so cheap and I definitely will be playing more of it throughout 2016 all right so let's open this this up here I got my my scissors let's open this up and see what we have in here. Let me take a little peek. Hence for this next game. Uh, it's basically based off of a cartoon series that people absolutely adore. Um, I watched a lot of these cartoons when I was younger, not by choice, but because I had an older brother and older cousins that were boys um, that loved the hell out of these cartoons. Um, also, the, the cartoon's been around for a while. They actually went on to make movies based off of this whole franchise. I mean, it's just this one big thing. Um, lots of automobiles, vehicles, um, and they do something special that makes them different. Um, also, the developers um, that made this game have done an amazing job on, on other games. I mean, some of my favorites from last generation uh, were made by this particular developer. So I'll give you a second to think on that one. I'm not the best with these hints, guys. I don't know, I'm trying here. I'm trying. Transformers Devastation. I actually got the Xbox One version because the PlayStation 4 version was sold out. It's probably the better version, but you know what? To be honest, I don't care as long as I get to play this game. Um, I'm not big into Transformers. I mean, I know like most of the original ones. Um, but the reason I really wanted this game was because it's put out by Platinum Games and they've done some amazing work in the past um, with some great games, you know? So really I was in the mood for a hack and slash beat em up type of game. This might not have a lot of substance to it, but it definitely will be flashy, and I, I'm sure I'll get the $25 out of it that I put into this game. Alright guys, next game. Open this up here. Okay, let's see what this is. Alright, this is going to be tricky uh, to give you guys some hints about this one. The game originally came out early. 2015 somewhat towards the beginning of the year um it originally came out on steam and it came out on psn only digitally um and then they went on to release like the ultimate edition uh, which included all the dlc all that good stuff retail copy which is great um it's a top down twin sh twin stick oh my god i can't speak twin stick shooter that's supposed to be super hard Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll give me a second to, to think on that one. Helldivers. This is the Super Earth Ultimate Edition. Um, it basically it, it includes the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita edition. Um, all expansion packs plus the DLC packs. And a bonus weapon pack. Um, this is a game that I wanted to try out on the Vita. And I didn't hear the best things about the Vita version, but I feel like twin stick shooters on the Vita, they play well enough. I mean, there's a lot of great ones out there. 
so I definitely want to try it out. Um, I heard that it also makes use of the back touch panel on the Vita um, and I found that out after <laughs> I purchased it um, and unfortunately the back touch screen panel of my Vita does not work for some dumb reason um, so I'll probably have to get a Vita soon but yeah I've heard nothing but great things about this game heard that it's really hard um, but there's a lot of enjoyment uh, to be found in it and I definitely want to try out the the co-op stuff and see how that works last little package here this is from Amazon um, I know what this is I had to I had to uh, cancel one of these Amazon orders because they told me that the package wasn't going to be here until after Christmas which is ridiculous I ordered Dishonor the definitive edition uh, for the PlayStation 4 and I got an email even though I ordered it on I think yeah I ordered it on Thanksgiving or maybe it was the day I no it was Thanksgiving I ordered these games on Thanksgiving um, and then I got an email saying that the expected delivery date was like December 27th and I was like or maybe it was the 28th and I was like no thanks cancel um, which is weird because Amazon I ordered three games off of Amazon canceled one of them and they shipped um, both games separately which is weird so this is the second game uh, I already know what this is all right so some hints this is a very popular series for the PlayStation family um, games have been on games from this series have been on the PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 um, PlayStation Portable the PSP PlayStation Vita even um, really good games if you're into hack and slash games the main character in the game is one angry mother he's an angry dude okay um, and he might as well be the face of Sony at this point I mean everyone knows him this is a pretty obvious one guys it's God of War it's God of War 3 remastered um, this was 15 bucks on Amazon and God of War 3 is an amazing game um, I wanted to get this game when it when it came out the remastered version when it came out but I just was wasn't gonna throw that much money down on a remastered game that I had previously played on the PlayStation 3 um, so $15 for this game perfect price definitely will play through this game again and I love the cover art how awesome is that all right so last game here guys is in this big old box I'll give you some hints as I'm opening up uh, the box this is a game from the toys to life genre um, it's a game if you follow me on Twitter um, a couple of months ago I was kind of contemplating getting it when it came out uh, but I hesitated I didn't get it because it was rather expensive it retails for $99 so a hundred bucks for this game um, I, and I was just like no I can't I'm not gonna lay down a hundred bucks on, on the game although it looks great um, yeah so it's from the toys toys to life genre um, let's see what else partnered with Warner Brothers if I'm not mistaken it's it features a bunch of different see or franchises I was gonna say series but franchises um, they're based off of toys that seems like everyone has played with when when they were a child uh, I don't know what else to say um, since it is a toys to life game I mean you can buy additional uh, level packs and characters let's pull this out guys pretty awesome Lego dimensions finally have it yay um, yeah, I, like I said, I wanted to get this when, init when it initially came out, but I decided not to just because, like I said, it was, it was a hundred bucks and that's a lot. This was on sale during Black Friday for, I think it was 69 or maybe 59. Um, and then I used some reward certificates and I ended up getting it for 33 bucks, which you really cannot beat that. Um, I haven't gotten any of the expansion or um, bonus level packs yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting 
I'll probably eventually end up getting all of them but first off I want to get the portal one um because that looks pretty cool and I definitely want to get the Back to the Future one even though I heard it wasn't that great and I also want to get the Doctor Who one because that looks cool as well I'm excited so many characters all in Lego goodness I enjoyed the Lego games that's a fun fact actually it shouldn't even be a fact because if you guys watch these videos you know I really like the Lego games they're like a guilty pleasure for me um, they're just a lot of fun to play and the fact that it's a Lego game mixed in with some franchises that I really adore I know I'm gonna have a great time with it and I definitely will bring my son down here with me so we can play this game together so that's my Black Friday haul guys I mean if you've played any of these games that I share with you in this video please give me your thoughts let me know what you think about them hopefully my hints were good enough for you guys I kind of think they suck but that's okay we switched things up a bit and we did a mystery unboxing I want to thank all of you for watching this video and I'll check you next time